So you guys, Dad just got here. He was, well, he was here for a while, actually. He, can you get it, Dad? I'm just bringing out a bear for the raccoon, because you guys know I called, I decided on a name, S'mores, and I brought him two dried fish. This is my first time feeding them, but I'm trying to get them in there so we can rehome them. What, Dad? Up here on the deck. Why is it he's going to go on the deck? He always comes up here. What are you talking about? So I'm putting one in there for him, and he'll go in there and get it, hopefully. And then I'm going to put one here by the teddy bear for him as a gift, since he used to bring me gifts. But Dad's just checking out the garden there. Oh, the corn! Look at these strawberries from my friend. No, I'll pick them tomorrow because I'm going to make jam. I wanted my family to pick first. Dad, look, my green beans are growing beans on them. The oh, I just had a nice chat, chit chat with my dad. He's so impressed by the garden. Every year he comes here because I put such minimal work. Look how pretty these three bushes are growing, guys. Oh, this is just their first summer. Cuppy, where are you, baby? Cup? Come over here, mommy can see you. Yes, good girl. The compost is building up again. These three bushes are smaller, but they're gonna do fine. But I wanna show you guys, you don't always have a perfect garden at all. Like, look at, see some black on these leaves? You see that? We had that heat wave that lasted four days. And you see some of the things are dead. Not all of them. Um, this, it really needs healthy leaves to absorb the nutrients from the sun. So if you see like dead ones, you just wanna pull them off. Now it's trying to grow kiwi. You see, these are the full size kiwis, but it'll be all right. I'll show you guys, I see a black leaf here. But that's what that's from. That's from that extreme heat wave. You see how it kind of burnt some of the things? Just get rid of it. Look at my lupins. Everybody's doing good. Look at another bloom from the peony. And <coughs> you guys for, for um, FYIs, I guess, I wanted to show you guys my lupins. Look at Cuppy over there playing. Hey! Dang! Get back here! Cupcake stole the teddy bear. No, 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 no. Cuppy, no. Cupcake! You guys, she stole the teddy bear. That's for s'mores. You drop that. No, Cuppy. Now I'm going to have a hard time getting it from her. She thinks it's for her. Cupcake. <gasps> Cupcake. No. Drop it. Cup. You guys, I'm going to have a hard time getting that teddy bear from that dog. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now she's getting her scent on it. Cuppy, come here. Come here. Teddy bear acquired. Um, the dogs also ate the fish. <laughs> they didn't go in the kennel, so that's a good thing. Oh, I'm going to have to throw away that can of ham. The heat probably got to it. I don't want to poison the... Look at... Do you guys recognize this teddy bear? It's from Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean's bear. All right. I gotta throw away that can of ham. I got to go get two more dried fish because one of them ate it, probably her. All right, I gotta take care of business here. All right, guys, you see how dirty my couch is? That's from that raccoon. Anyway, I'm suspecting tonight we'll catch them. I reset the trap, everything is all good to go. I put a granola bar for him in there as you can see right there, and a dried fish, because he's gonna really smell that fish and want it. If he touches that, that metal plate, that's the trap thing. You touch that and it shuts this. And what he's been doing is taking the hook off. I don't know how he's so smart. Anyway, I got him a teddy bear, because if he's gonna be rehomed, I don't want him to be completely alone. I'm hoping he'll take a liking to that teddy. And there's a dried fish for him, so. Yep, I'm hoping tonight will be the night we catch s'mores so that he can be rehomed in a good forest. You know what I mean? Like I said, I threw out that can of ham because it was in the heat all day. I do not want the guy poisoned. I just want him safe and sound, you know. So yeah, dad picked. Dad did good picking. This is what I'm giving my friend. Um... 
Look at this. Oh. So it's three bare roots. There's a runner here. Nice healthy runner. Look at that. This is growing strawberries and I'm not plucking the strawberries. I want to give it to her nice and full. It's really heavy because I have it filled to the tea with compost. Look at this. These are all coming along. Soil's nice and damp. So now I'm going to put it back here. I had it under my the table because with that severe rain we had, it um, it had enough rain. But look how healthy that is. So when when her vacation's done, I'm gonna bring that to her. So yeah, I just want to show you guys. Oh yeah, <sighs> my dad drank this sparkling water, ginger ale flavor. Isn't that awesome? It's sparkling water, but ginger ale. So. That makes you burp and it's good for you. So yeah, we're all set tonight. Let's see if we catch a raccoon. I hope so.
out, guys. The raccoon was here last night. He enjoyed everything. He enjoyed the granola bar and the fish and the teddy. He loved that teddy. I put it up here because my cupcake wants to eat it. Ugh. Again. I mean, this raccoon is crazy smart. Ugh. Look at... He didn't set off the trap door. This is what he's been doing. So this thing right here is the hook and it hooks up to here, okay? And what he's been doing is literally unhooking this, setting it down so that the trap door is flat. You see? You see how this lifts? So I'm gonna go get peanut butter. I'm gonna stick peanut butter right on that. And I'm, I got a bag tie here. You see this tie? I'm gonna jimmy rig it so he cannot pull that off of here. Just like I did, I had to jimmy rig it because he was doing it, he was on hooking it from here. You see right there? That's a garbage bag tie. I had to garbage bag tie it and he can't unhook it from there, but now he's on hooking it from this end. This clasp right here, he's taking this right here off. So I'm gonna go get peanut butter and do this again. He was cute though, guys. Last night, he was just loving. So that's his teddy bear. Anyway, girls, get down. Mommy doesn't want you up there. Get! Once I get them captured and we rehome them, all of this has to be completely washed, scrubbed down, disinfected, because this is where he's laying, right up here. So yeah, there's no point in me washing it now. He's coming back every night. Ugh, but as soon as we capture him, I'm disinfecting and scrub-a-dubbing these. I can't wait. I'm going to do the whole thing here because, yeah, that's where he loves to sleep, play, sleep, all that stuff. So, yeah. All right, folks. Look at the girls down there. I didn't see any disturbance in the garden, so I feel like he was happy. Anyway, I got to take care of business here. I will be back. All right, guys, I had to go in the house, wash my hands before I touch anything. And then I got, look at this big glob of natural peanut butter. I feel like this is going to make him, I got to open the back trap door though in order to put it on. So can you guys see? You see how the door is open? That's where he comes in. I really want you guys to see this. Ugh. I'm exhausted. I did not sleep good at all last night. Like, I feel out of it today. I will say. So this is the trap door here. Like the, not the trap door, but... Uh, am I losing the peanut butter? Oh my goodness. This is where you release some from, the back. So I'm just going to open this and get my peanut butter set up in there. Come on, peanut butter. Don't fall all over the place. Ugh. So watch, as soon as I touch this, you hear that? That's the trap door shutting. So let's just like, I want to make it so that he got to touch this. All right. <sighs> Difficult. I can't even lick my finger right now because he's been in this cage several times. So let's put this through the hooks again. All right, come on, get in. I've got to go in a hole here. Oh, okay. Now I gotta, wait, this is where it goes, yeah. See, you gotta lock that. That way when you carry him, he doesn't, uh... Oh, I really wanna wipe my finger. See, lots of peanut butter now. And I squashed it right on that trap door. This way, like I said, he can't just like lick it, even if he tries to grab it with his fingers. So now I gotta set the trap door once again. You see how it's closed? So it's very easy to do. You do that. Okay. See, I jimmy rigged it right here so he can't be on hooking it. Cause that's what he's been doing. He's been going in and he's been eating the food and coming back out because he unhooks the door. So now you see where I jimmy rigged it there with the garbage bag tie? 
the peanut butters in there. I will put a granola bar again. He seems to really like those. At least if he's going to be trapped, he'll have something good till I get him in the morning. But I was watching him last night. Okay, peanut butter. Now this end is properly, tr like the, the door is secured more. So yeah, this is where he comes and plays. I'll put his teddy bear over there for him later, but I gotta go wash my hands again. Oh, great. Anyway, he loves this bear. I'm surprised he left it behind. He played with it for hours. So, I do, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I feel sad about the situation. Like, oh, I know the raccoon, like people are supposed to share. Like, the world, the property. And the only reason I'm trying to capture him and rehome him, and trust me, I'm going to be very intentional about where I rehome him. I'll make sure it's a good place where there's like water close by and some type of food that he'll be able to easily get. But I can't, I have two dogs. We have a food garden, like fruit and vegetable, and this is just not a good situation. It's not safe for the dogs and raccoons, you guys know. This guy obviously doesn't have rabies. He's not foaming at the mouth or vicious. He's playful. He's sleeping like he, you know, he's darn smart and he's really fat. So I know he's probably older, but I called him s'mores, by the way. I, I love watching him in the camera, but we can't have him here as a yard pet. Like, even if, like squirrels and that, they don't, they're not diseased. They're not going to hurt your... You know, we, we can't have this raccoon peeing and pooping in the yard or walking through vegetables and stuff. And so far, we've been really lucky. He pulled a couple at the very beginning, saw there wasn't food, and now he leaves the garden alone. Now, what he does, his vice, is literally coming up here. That's his spot. He's claimed it. That's his bed. He comes here to sleep. He plays a little and sleeps. And anyway, he cleans himself like a cat. Like... Uh, my heart is sad about having to do this if he if there was no danger with having him live here and if all he did was pick a few fruit and vegetables I would not be trying to capture him and send him away but it's the danger that's why you know of like disease or a dog attack or something like that that's the only reason but I am my as much as I know this needs to be done I am sad about it like uh, I just asked God to help me to do what I have to do. But that's why, like, I'm never going to poison him or hurt him. I, I want him to be safely just rehomed. And then, you know, anyway, I just please pray because it is hard on my heart. This is the situation is hard on my heart.